sexy walding people from YouTube. How you guys doing? I hope you guys having a good day. And if you're working, I hope you guys having a safe day. That's right. And today, guys, I want to say hi to all my pipe fitters, all my helpers, all my iron workers. And if I didn't mention your trade, make sure you comment below on the comment section. And I just want to welcome you guys all to another video from Captain Money. That's right. And today's video, guys, Captain Money. It's gonna go back to Walden School. That's right. Um, this time, though, I'm not going back because I fell or anything like that. Uh, it's because um, I haven't walled in months. So, Captain Mine is getting cold. So, I'm gonna try and run some beat guys today on Walden School. And because I can use the Walden machines, because Captain Mine is the best on the east side and everywhere. <laughs> So I'm gonna use their welding machines and use their energy and I'm trying to run some beats so let's go I'll show you. So this is a route that I would take from my parents' house to Walden School and this is my wife's truck, my wife's Jeep. As you can see there's a left sticker in there and you know every time I'll go out of state like she will do left and Right now that she's not working, you know, because our baby, like, I don't know, I'll, sometimes I use Lyft and work for Lyft, which is okay, you know, some, give me something to do, but right now, um, I want to keep going and welding, guys, so we're going to do some, I'm going to try to do some 80-10, and um, I'm going to go to the welding school that I went to back in 2014 and I'm gonna use their welding machines and their energy because they let me do it and so this is Captain Manny going back to school guys that's right I'm in Arizona right now ready to do and you know we want to go to the pine line one day so 8010 is the way to do so I have wall 8010, but just a little bit. But this time, you know, we're gonna grab some plates. We're gonna try to get some plates to run some, a lot of beats, and then we're gonna try running on pipe, okay? So let's go. All right, so we're back at Walden School, guys, and right here is a scrap metal band. All the plate, all the pipe that we'll use after we're done, we'll throw it over here. And this is what I found here. Somebody put this coupon backwards. Like instead of putting it on the front, they put it on the back. So I don't know. Maybe they were joking. Maybe they didn't knew better. I don't know. But it's kind of funny. So, anyways, we're gonna grab a piece of pipe from here, a piece of plate, <clears throat> and run some beats, guys. Okay. We're gonna go back inside, back to the boot. As you can see here, this is where the welding machines are, and I'm gonna show you guys what I brought with me. Um, this is just a spacer. Couldn't find my 116 gap spacer. Those are my welding gloves right there. I brought some welding rod with me because welding school don't have a 8010. This is not a pie line welding school. This is just some basic welding school training. Got my wire wheel, my granite dust. My chip and hammer, that's right. A wire brush, two and one. And we have our grinder right here, metabo, that's right. And what else? So, this is a piece of plate that I grabbed from the scrap metal that I was showing you guys. So, somebody trying to do an open B group on this one, they didn't penetrate, as you can see. They were welding wire and on this one too so we're gonna run some beats on the plate with some 8010 we're gonna be using this Miller welding machine and 8010 I saw on Lincoln website that um, it should be this is a 532nd 8010 rod so it should be running between 100 and 160 amps so 
probably gonna do like 115, 120 amps DC positive. And you can see here this 8010 rod. And right now, guys, I don't have my my welding machine because that would be better, you know, because welding machines, you know, real welding machines, they use like they use um is they well well they well they do work different, you know. This one is has a, like a digital, you know, you can put like 80 90 amps 120 but that one the real welding machines you know they go by by uh, steps you know like oh by they go by gears like third gear and and then they go from zero to a hundred so but right now we're just gonna use this metal machine Captain Manny here I'm gonna run some beats that's right Captain Manny all right, so we have a our piece of plate right there. We're gonna set our phone right there. My camera guy didn't show up, so I had to record by myself, guys. That's right. Sorry. So get patience with me. All right. So like I said, you know, I run a I try eighty ten before, you know, but not I haven't really been like into it like. For real so right now we're gonna try to run beats on this plate just to get used to it just to get back in the game back to welding because I haven't welded months guys ever since I went to North Dakota so this would be a good thing you know get back to welding and let me tell you guys oh that smell of this 8010 rod for me kind of feels like 6010 even the smell too kind of smells the same you know, it's a fast freeze Ross, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, right now, guys, you know, we're gonna see how it burns. Uh, 120 or 118, I think I put the welding machine at. So, right now, we just see how this, how it feels, how it runs. This pretty much is a 1F plate. And... Let's see how it goes. Cause you know I haven't walled eighty ten a lot guys, so I'm not not familiar with it. And I don't have my welding machine like I said. But cause it would be better because if you have your welding machine with you, you know, if you had a if I had my welding machine I I will put it in, in my the gear Probably third gear or the last. At least that's what the welders back in North Dakota had it. Like had it, they had it third gear, and then they for this they probably run it at forty, I believe. You know, so it would be it would be nice if I had the control and everything ready. But you know, using these uh, machines at school, it's all right too. So this is the first beat, guys, on this plate. You can see here it came out right, I think, from the pictures and from the ones I seen on the pine line. I mean, I'm not an expert welding 8010. You know, I'm just try I'm just trying to learn how to weld 8010. I also heard that there's a, a different rod over there in the pine line called 7010. They call it OP, I think. I don't know why. They said some welders would be like, oh man, 7010 is hard to weld. And some welders, oh no, man, 7010 is easier than 8010. So I don't know. I don't know what's like, what to tell you. Because I haven't welded 7010. But this 8010, guys, for me, it feels like 6010. And right now, flat, I can run it no problem at all. But I remember, um, with this uh, welder that I was talking to, I she he let me use his he let me run a couple beats and on pipe with eighty ten. Can't remember if it was five thirty second rod or uh, one eight or bigger, but he kind of told me how to do it and everything. And I don't know, guys, when I was welding on pipe, uh, three o'clock will man will just not work for me. It will like drip you know 
like I don't know what what was going down, but that's why I was like, man, I need to practice this eighty ten. So this is the first plate, all the finish, and stay tuned for more videos, guys, from Captain Manny. Next video, guys, we're gonna try to run some beats on this pipe and probably fit the coupon that I had right there. So stay safe out there. And stay tuned for more videos from Captain Money.